Hey, welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is, well, today's uh, Wednesday, September the uh, 15th, 2021. And it's time for a daily COVID-19 analysis. First, a big shout out to the uh, 16 people who watched the video yesterday. That's 24 hours. Thank you so much for the 16 views. Of course, I'd really like to have likes going along with these 16 views. If 16 views and 16 likes would be fantastic. And a special shout out to the 12 young people, who under 18 people who watched the video. But you know what? Of course, we, you know, we need to grow the channel. We, we really need to, I really, I would really like to get the views for this video up to 100 views a day. Okay, and all it takes is for you to, to click on that share button, share the video on Facebook and Twitter. You can also share it in, a, in an email or text message. That's all it takes. But again, thanks so much for the 26 young people. So let's come up here and let's run this. Julia Selkie. Hey, if you're interested in our programming, there's two people you need to, besides me, there's two people you need to follow on uh, on YouTube. That's Julia Selkie and David Robinson. Okay? Julia Selkie just, uh, you know, I was mentioning that David Robinson does a live stream for our our programming stream every Tuesday at 4, at 4 o'clock, 4, 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, okay? And Julia is not quite as frequent, but every couple of weeks she does put together some type of modeling video, okay? Modeling meaning computer, meaning statistical modeling, <laughs> okay? So since January of last year, we've had 41.3, let's say 41.4 million uh, cases. Now, now what's interesting about, about this, uh, about how we count uh, COVID-19 cases versus say cancer or heart disease deaths, is that with cancer and heart disease, the count starts over every January 1st. So on January 1st, the, the, the counter for c c cancer deaths and heart disease deaths is reset to zero. So the question is, why don't we do the same thing with COVID-19? Why are we continue to count the cases, okay, the cases from, from January 2020 and February 2020? Just, just something to think about. And something else to think about the COVID-19 vaccine. First, should you get the vaccination? Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you like me away 65 apps, even more, it's even more, it's, it's even more important. You can't let the risk of side effects keep you from getting protected. Okay. Because what the vaccine will do is it'll reduce the severity of the disease. By reducing the severity of the disease, it'll reduce the chance that you will die from COVID-19. But one, one important thing about the vaccine is it will not keep you from getting vaccine. It will not keep you from getting COVID-19, which is why we're seeing this huge spike in cases because the vaccine isn't 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 affecting the number of cases okay and as you can see 663 000 deaths plus uh, since february and end of february last year so we got here this is this is the cases for this year okay the uh the, the line down here is a uh is the average the seven day average and you can see basically the shape of the plot here okay uh, you can see this. Well, you know, this is cases. So it's cases actually maybe starting to trend down a little bit here. Yeah, maybe. But, you know, how many of these people were vaccinated here? And what about deaths? Well, you can see deaths again. This, this red line is the uh, this red area is, is the seven day average. OK, so if you come over here again, you can see the deaths are increasing. Now, how many of these people were vaccinated? OK, now here, here's probably a number. One of the two numbers, it's really important. Uh, while, while daily deaths and daily cases are important, this gives us a bigger picture of all. And the, the big picture for cases is we, know, we have now, with three months ago, we have more cases, clinic cases in 2021 than we, than we had in 11 months or 11 and a half months of 2020. That's the sobering fact. But the, and again, COVID 19 vaccine isn't going to affect these numbers, it isn't going to affect the number of cases. Or have very little effect on reducing. You know, the, the COVID-19 vaccine have uh, have this, you know has a very low chance of preventing COVID-19. Okay, it may, but it's, but this it's, it's unlikely. Okay. Now here's the one that's more important. This is the deaths for 20, you know for basically for 11 months last year, February to December. Okay. This is this is the this is January 
through the end of August or end of September. And the question is, are we going to, is, is the 2021 deaths, okay, going to catch the 2020 deaths? That's the real question. I'm still holding out hope that that won't happen. Okay, I'm still going to happen. Now we can just look here real quick. Again, this is 2020, 2021. If you if you if you ignore the July point, if you ignore this July portion, first of all, of course, again, how many of these people are vaccinated? That's just just something to keep harping. I know I know I'm a broken worker, but someone has to answer ask that question. Someone has to answer it. Okay. So you can see if, if you ignore the July onward, this is this is this is almost a mirror image. Okay. That's the same thing. If you, if you ignore the July, uh, again, how many of these people are vaccinated? And again, you know, if you, if you ignore the July numbers, you can see that uh, the trend line here is, is pretty close for, okay, for 20, deaths in 2020, 2021. Now, what we got here is, is the average number of, uh, you can see cases increasing, okay? If you look over here for September the 14th, we had 143,895 cases with an average of 152,938 cases. What about deaths? Well, let's take a look here. Uh, why is there a gap here? This is the 13th and this is the 16th. Why is there this consistent gap here? Do these numbers include Saturday, Sunday numbers, maybe? I mean, I'm even afraid to look at the actual raw numbers at this point. Yeah, because that's, you know, it's just, <laughs> what's going on with it, with the, how the government, various government agents handle this is just, it's just, it's just uh, well, it's just, it's, 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 it's at best, it's, it's questionable. It's a qu questionable, okay? Uh, the reason we use like weekly totals and monthly totals is so we can, is, is to get past these these inconsistencies in reporting methods. Okay, but you can see deaths are increasing. First method is a weekly number. You can see an increase here in weekly numbers. All right. Last week is down a little bit. An increase in monthly, increase in weekly deaths. You can see uh, August was a was a pretty was a pretty bad month for COVID-19 cases. Uh, looks like it's in fourth place. Fourth most August was the fourth most cases of any month so far. Deaths you can see deaths is already for for September is already above this number right here, almost or at least above this number here. So where does this leave us? Well, this leaves us over here for one space. So th this is a rough estimate of the number of people who have COVID-19 in America per 100,000 people. So let's say it was about 50. What about the people currently dying from COVID-19? Well, right now in America, for every 100,000 people, one half person has died from COVID-19, all right? This is cumulative totals. Uh, cumulative totals here. Yes. What? Just a minute. So what you can see here is uh, the numbers for the U.S. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks so much, America, for stopping by. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button, all right, and the share button and the like button. Yes. Just a minute.